Hey there! It is Friday afternoon. So, good news, bad news. Actually, there's no real bad news. Um, I'd like to thank the <clears throat> 21 subscribers I have to date. Thank you for joining. I probably know most of you personally. Um, uh, but, thank you. Um, so, building off the good news-ish from yesterday... Uh, I went and saw my evil physiotherapist today. She's not evil, I just call her that. Um, actually, a wonderful lady. Uh, we did some reassessments. So, um, when she first saw me about three-ish weeks after my stroke, um, I scored a 54 or a 52 on their assessment tool. Um, and 86 would be normal. Um, well, she, we did a reassessment, and I'm an 83. So, yeah, I know, I'm still below normal. Or not normal. Yes, I know, I know, there's a high potentiality that was not normal before the stroke. I completely understand that. Um, but... That being said, it's great news. Um, there's still a few activities I have difficulty doing. Like uh, she'll make, she has this line on the floor. And I have to walk the line left to right, but I have to cross my feet and then do it back. I can't do that. Crossing the feet is something that was learned out of me um, many years ago. So I can't cross my feet. It's not something I can do um, or do well. Um, we had to do a two-minute walk, and it's timed, um, and it's also timed by uh, measured by distance, so how fast I can move in two minutes. <clears throat> well, I decided to be a smart ass and run. I'm like, well, oh, it's just like, and great life choice to prove I can do it. Uh, not such a good life choice. So the brain didn't kind of like it as much. And don't run in a hospital. You know, um, I realize I'm not as good looking as Dr. Doug Ross from ER, and I'm not as long, young as Doogie Howser. I might be a sarcastic twit, a little bit like Gregory House, but without the really cool British accent. Um, and I can't play piano that well. Because uh, that man is an accomplished blues jazz musician. Um, that being said, yeah. Um, so... I drastically improved my two-minute walk. Um, the walk while crouching, not so good. Uh, lateral dodging is what the other one is called. Um, it's almost like a bad 1970s karate movie. You cannot laterally dodge your teacher. No good. Right? So, walk, walk, crouch. You must not walk, walk, crouch. Right? It's like a bad 1970s kung fu movie i my teacher wasn't that good so i'm uh, learning the lateral dodge um and no this isn't a case of if you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a ball and the walk while crouching mm, yeah working on it totally working on it um there's a few other activities that we're going to work on um yeah but great news and other news tonight, uh, I got permission yesterday from the neurosurgeon to drink alcoholic bevies, if I so choose. Um, not that I was a big drinker or a teetotaler in any regard, um, but I'm now a friend of mine from work, having a little get-together out in the community uh, for his birthday. Um, now, if I'm the stroke assaulter, he says it's okay if he's the cake crusader. Well, I'm, I'm going to declare this here and now. I'm not going to be the sidekick. Just putting that out there. And if we're going to be superheroes, no capes, because they get caught on things. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go out and have my first pint of Guinness since the stroke. Uh, we will see how that goes. Um, might make the floor come sooner. But all in all, a good day. 
Uh, and then at that point, really, I have no new news. Oh, I did these buttons on my own. Yes, I realize this is rather a plain shirt. It makes you think of a tablecloth or uh, maybe a 1940s flower sack, right? I, I get that. Sorry. Um, but after the physio, I needed a bit of a break. So I had to sort of sit there in a chair in the hospital for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, about 15, 20 minutes. I just needed a break. But this week, all in all, hasn't been excruciatingly bad. Uh, with the exception of that numpty last night. And I, and again, the, the progress and successes that I've made or had since my stroke is a combination of a great clinical team, right, from the paramedics that did the load and go, uh, to the doctor at RVH that happened to be the stroke guy, to the nurses. The, every single nurse I've had, with the exception of one, um, and she knows who she is, uh, has been amazing, right? Um, Sarah with and without an H, you ladies were great. Um, you had to put up with me when I was completely scared, shitless, and on the TPA, right? Uh, you then had Mary, uh, Mackie, and Tabitha. Great, great women. Uh, they were on the ICU. There was Katie on the stroke ward, and then Adrian on cardiac renal. I have not named one nurse, and she knows why. She's a twit. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but, you know what? I had, I had a great doctor. I had amazing nurses. Uh, I got the best care humanly possible. Uh, and when it comes to my rehab, um, you know, I, my speech path, I've met him uh, twice, I believe. My memory is not so good. I had a stroke. Uh, my OT, I met her a couple times. I don't need her. Possibly one last appointment just as a final re, or like discharge assessment type deal. And then the lady I spend the most time with would, would be my physiotherapist. Right. Um, and you know what? She's wonderful. I, no problems at all. Right. She makes me do things that hurt, but that's, that's sort of wrong. Really, really wrong. But it's not that way. So mine's in a gutter. Please, you people out there. Um, but all in all, I've had a pretty decent week. Uh, all in all, it's been a week of successes and gains. Uh, a little bit of reality check yesterday with the doctor. But it's getting better, right? Like, a, like the one video, uh, it's Game of Inches, right? This is a day-by-day, minute-by-minute thing, right? And you... Try to find your successes the week, you know, next week, right? Because you can compare week from week where you were, how you were, um, what you were, right? So that's the why, way I'm looking at it. So we're beginning week eight, and I'm going to go have my first beer. I might even live cast that for shits and gigs. Right? Live stream it. It'll be on my phone, so the quality will be shit, but I might do that. Um, so, that being said, if you like what you've seen here over the last eight weeks, or seven weeks and a bit, uh, please like, share, subscribe with your friends. This is a bit of an educational journey um, uh, about the rehab and recovery post a stroke, be it a minor stroke, fun size stroke. Um, you know, uh, however, it still was a stroke right? and it's a bit of levity at times, uh, gives me something to do, right? Um, because I have a boatload of free time on my hands. Um, right. Also, it's a bit of a cathartic thing, right? I get to vent. 
Um, and so if you've been watching for seven weeks and you're going to continue watching, right, if you've already liked uh, and you subscribe, please share with your friends. If you see something that I'm on point about, please share that with your friends, right? Um, someone asked me, hey, are your video scripted? No, no, it's all sort of flow of consciousness. Um, and that's sort of the way this works. Will they become scripted? I doubt it. One will be. That's coming shortly. Um, so, if you haven't liked what you've seen here, go do something else. Like, young earth creationists, flat earthers, find something else to watch. Sovereign citizens, you know, donut operator. Go watch Donut. I like Donut. Donut's a great guy. Go watch Donut Operator. Right? So, at that point, please like, share, subscribe with your friends. Now, finally, if you happen to know in, either notice in yourself or someone around you appears to be having the signs or symptoms of a stroke, and that being facial droop, slurred or stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, inability to smile, right, either equally or at all, right, uh, inability to um, raise both arms, right, equally or, or at all, uh, general body weakness, weakness on one side, inability to stand unaided, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple could save a life.